today's a weird video, not one I was expecting to do. Last week I put up a video talking about how we are made to feel like if we're not wearing makeup we are ugly and in that video I featured a gorgeous girl called Chloe Waters. I was commenting on the fact that she does these crazy makeup transformations where she goes from looking like an old lady, her words, to looking young and hot and my thoughts on it. Now if you guys live under a rock with me, we can all live under the rock together. Chloe Waters is a huge influencer over on TikTok. She's got over a million followers, that is nothing to sniff at and her whole spiel is that she is the world's biggest catfish. Now, when I posted my video last week, I got so many comments saying basically along the lines of Steph, you've been taken for a fool. Chloe is a scam artist. She uses an aging filter. She's lying to people about her makeup transformations. It's all fake. And I was like, oh, surely not. <laughs> Let me investigate. So this is Chloe Waters' TikTok. And this is the kind of content that she makes. She makes herself look a certain way in her before images and her before videos. And then she makes herself look a certain way in the after. And the whole thing is to make her makeup transformation look really, really eye-catching. Now, the thing is, I don't really like Chloe's message. Like, I congratulate her and I can celebrate her on her success because building a social media empire is not bloody easy. Building a social media following is not easy. And she's done it. And she's amazing at makeup. And she's gorgeous and good for her. She also seems really funny. Like, I think I'd be friends with her in real life. I just don't like the fact that she is basically capitalizing off this whole notion that we're only worthy with our makeup on, that we're only beautiful with our makeup on, and that with it off, we're old hags. We're ugly. I just don't like it. It just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. And the thing is, like, I can make myself look like that too. If I've got no makeup on and I've got my hair up in a messy bun and it's greasy and I'm sitting on my lounge like this... I can make myself look just like that. And I'm like, are you saying I'm ugly? Like how feckin' rude. <laughs> now, there are claims that Chloe is a scam artist, that she is profiting off women's insecurities. Chloe claims that in her before pictures, the reason she looks so old, and I say that in inverted commas because I don't think she looks old at all. And in fact, I'm insulted that people do think she looks old here. She claims that she is not using a filter and that in fact, she is using something called face tape. My friends, I have face tape, okay? I've known about face tape for a very long time. It used to be used on catwalk models for professional photography, for editorial. Basically what face tape does is it slightly pulls back your face like this, right? Think Bella Hadid, think Lady Gaga, think Kendall Jenner, that kind of thing. It's not gonna take someone who is in their 50s look like they are 10 again, okay? There's only so much that face Tape can do. Chloe, however, claims that she simply uses face tape and this is how she goes from looking like this to this. And off the back of that, she has set up her own business selling, you guessed it, face tape. And good for her. I mean, she's seen a niche in the market. Not many people knew about face tape until Chloe. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to sell that. The accusation is that Chloe is a scam artist profiting off women's insecurities by using an aging filter in her before videos. People claim that she has put on this aging filter and it's made her look really, really old. And I'm like, I just don't think she looks very old. Like to me, she looks like she's in her late twenties mid 30s, early 40s. You guys, that's not old. Maybe that's old to the TikTok generation. To me, she doesn't look old. I kind of flatly refused to believe that she was using an aging filter because I found it quite insulting to her and anybody around my age. But then I went on TikTok and I watched a bunch of her content and I was like, have I been taken for a fool? I think I may have. In some videos, she certainly looks different to other videos. Like take this one, for example. In this video, I don't think she's using an aging filter. I think this is a very normal way for a woman in her 20s, 30s, 40s to look. We all have these. These are called nasolabial folds. These are not wrinkles. We all have them. But then I saw videos like this where she does look a little bit different. And I'm like, girl, are you using a filter here? Are you trying to make your makeup skills and your makeup transformation look that much more dramatic that you are in fact using, and I hate to say it, but an aging filter on the before? I'm not Chloe. Chloe, don't sue me. I think in some videos she may be. And I take issue with that because I'm like, I think it's a little bit unfair to be selling face tape and saying that this makeup transformation, how you go from an old lady to like young and hot is because of face tape. And then you are also selling face tape. But if you're using an aging filter to make yourself look older, yeah, it's a bit scammy, all right? <laughs> hey guys, editing Stephanie here with a voiceover. So I did a bit more digging on Chloe and yeah, she really had me fooled and I'm a bit pissed off. She's absolutely using filters. An aging filter in some videos, 
yes, and then a beautifying filter in some. I don't think she's using an aging filter in this particular video, for example, but she definitely looks to be using a beautifying filter at the end. Her entire skin texture is gone and her skin becomes airbrushed. Another telltale sign of a beautifying filter is that her hair darkens. So as soon as the filter is put over the top, it's so obvious her hair is darker. And guys, believe me, I've been a makeup artist for a long time. Face tape does not do that. I honestly feel sorry for any of her fans who purchased the face tape expecting to get the same results as Chloe because it's fake. Ugh. And then there's this one too. So there's no filter at the start, I don't think. But then when she puts her face tape on, she happens to put a beautifying filter on as well. And suddenly her skin tone is smooth. Her eyes are brighter and bigger. Chloe man, come on. Then there's another one using what appears to be a beautifying filter when the face tape goes on. Surprise, surprise. Now there's an app called Face App where you can use an aging filter. And there's also a beautifying filter for video. So I think that's what she's using. Then in this one, I think she's using a filter to make herself appear older, which I just think is a bit mean. You can see it on the bottom left of her jaw, her hair color also glitches. And again, in this video, to me, it looks like she's definitely using a filter to make herself look older. And I know this is meant to be lighthearted and fun, like, ooh, wonderful makeup transformation, going from ugly and old to young and hot, but I just don't like it. I think it's playing into ageism. I think it's making older women feel self-conscious. I think it's perpetuating the idea that without makeup, Chloe is somehow lesser than, and then when she's got her makeup on, and she's suddenly really hot. And if you look at the comments, it's kind of disgusting. I hate comments like, take her swimming on a first date. This is why I have trust issues. And then finally, just to put the nail in the coffin, you can literally see the aging filter glitch on her forehead and her hair when she raises her eyebrows in this video. And the word she's used for this video, why am I so ugly? Lol, it broke the internet. I'm literally so ugly, people don't believe it. I am so sorry to any woman watching this who does happen to look similar to Chloe's before images, myself included, because you are not ugly. I don't think I'm ugly. You are beautiful. Maybe I'm just moody today, but I think this is a cheap way of gaining a social media following and indulging in video trickery to make money and sell a product. Now, I was interested to know what Chloe's age actually is, but I couldn't find it anywhere online. I did instead find this interview where Chloe herself refuses to tell her fans how old she is. She said in the interview, it's a secret. It will ruin the allure of my page. I like causing people to debate because it creates more engagement. Some people say I'm old. Some people say I'm young. Then it gets more comments and pushes the video to more people to argue. Oh, Chloe girl, I get why she is doing this. Like I get that if you make polarizing content like this that causes people to argue, yes, it's gonna get you more engagement. Yes, that's gonna cause the algorithm to push your content out to more people. That's gonna make you more money. And we all need to make money in this day and age. We all need to pay our bills. I get that. And I can applaud that. Like I love to see women doing well, but I'm kind of like, does posting this kind of content of yourself not eat away at your pride a little bit? Does it not chip away at your self-esteem? I just feel like in a way she's really degrading herself. The faces she pulls, the way she sits, the way she poses in her before pictures, she's clearly trying to make herself look a certain way so that in the after, the effect is that much more mind-blowing. Using titles like watch me go from old lady to young and hot or whatever she says, she's putting herself down because when I look at these before images, these before videos, I'm like, girl, you don't look old, you don't look ugly, you look bloody beautiful. You've got sparkly eyes. You've got a gorgeous skin tone. I'm a very red person. Like you guys, if you can see my chest right now, it's probably bright red. I would love to have a skin tone like that. She's got great brows. And as someone who might, guys, this is eyebrow pencil. My eyebrows are crap. I would love to have her eyebrows in real life. I would love to have her face in real life. I think she's beautiful. I think she's stunning. And I think she's really putting herself down in this kind of content. Firstly, ageism is already a real issue that so many women over a certain age are battling against. I just don't think it's right to be playing into ageism and putting yourself down like this, even if it is going to sell you more face tape, even if it is going to make you more money, I just think it's putting a pretty negative message out there, not only for yourself, but for other women who might look like your before images. So what do you guys think? Do you think that she's just a really, really talented makeup artist who had a great idea and is capitalizing on that? Or do you think that she's being a little bit scammy? Do you guys think that she is using a filter? Or do you think that this is in fact what women in their 20s and 30s and 40s actually look like? And the fact that people think that this is a filter is kind of insulting. I hate being on the fence, but I feel like I've been on the fence a lot recently. Like I said, I feel like in some videos she might be using a filter because it kind of looks a little that way. It's a little bit dodgy. And then in some, I'm like, no, this is just what women look like. All right, you guys, tell me what you think in the comments. I love your guts and I'll see you in the next video.